The Guilford County School Systems worked for months on a budget, and teachers and school staff members want to make sure school leaders hear about their needs. Tonight, Superintendent Dr. Whitney Oakley presented a budget to the school board, and this followed a rally during which the Guilford County Association of Educators made four demands. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro joins us now live from the school system headquarters with the latest on how the school board members reacted. Cassie. So, Neil, while they were rallying, they actually had a petition in hand, and it had 2,300 signatures supporting those demands, and the superintendent and the board were not unaware of what those demands would be, in fact, saying they would do their best to include them in the proposed budget. We see our kids every single day, and we give and we give, but it's hard to go home and realize that some of the financial struggles are still there. It's still hard to make ends meet. Guilford County Schools Superintendent Whitney Oakley agrees the district needs to raise the teacher supplement to compete with larger school districts in the state. The proposed teacher supplement recommendation for 2024-2025 is $10 million. It's all on fire. Teacher compensation are the vacancy rates and these specialized positions. So, I mean, I think at the state level, at the General Assembly level, um, just going to the commissioners every year and trying to get what we can to make it through the next year is not a sustainable strategy. GCS currently offers the lowest supplement compared to districts like Charlotte or Wake County and even lower than Winston-Salem, Forsyth County. Still hard to be able to have the American dream and be able to have a house and um, go out and be able to afford just groceries, things like that. So um, that's why I think this is very important for us. School nutrition workers were also included in the demands. They were left out last year. Right now, our pay scale is one dimensional. So everybody's paid the same, no matter your skill set, years of experience or anything. Rondicia Wallace has worked as a school nutrition employee for more than a decade. She makes the same as someone who could start the same job tomorrow. And she says their job is much more than making and serving food. Sometimes we're the first meal that they have for the day. And a lot of times, unfortunately, we're the last meal of the day. So we like to make sure that they're eating. Within the proposed budget, school nutrition workers would be brought up to the other classified employee levels, with $8.6 million allotted for phase two of the staff compensation plan. Altogether, the budget is almost $977 million, less than the billion last year, but with an additional request to Guilford County due to the reduction in federal COVID dollars totaling $304 million. So what happens next? Well, they're going to have to present the budget to Guilford County. They're going to have a public hearing where you parents, any stakeholders can weigh in on May 7th and then sometime by the summer they'll have that full budget locked down. More coming up at 11 live in Greensboro County. Fair Fox 8 News. Cassie, thank you. Green